Some sorting algorithms are slow. 2,000 years later. While other sorting algorithms are even faster. And there are a handful of sorting algorithms that are super fast. Wanna see me run to that mountain and back? You wanna see me do it again? What up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Abdal Osman, but most of you guys know me as D the Cyberman. I've always wanted to build a sorting visualizer in C++, but I've been really busy with school lately. However, like the great Confucius once said, it doesn't matter how slowly you go, but as long as you don't stop. Now, some of you guys might be sitting there wondering why am I talking about Confucius in this video? I don't know either. But anyways. So as an extremely skilled software engineer that I am, I don't want to waste my time and read through articles. Instead, I would rather reach out to my peers in my software engineering club for help. Alright, so it looks like we have to read some extremely complex documentation. These documentations are super confusing and usually take hours to read and they're really confusing. After reading the article, now we know how to implement the SDL library in Visual Studio 2022. Now let's go ahead and actually get it set up. After setting up the SDL library in Visual Studio 2022, I typed up a simple SDL code to create a window. After typing hashtag include SDL.h and saving my programs, all the errors went away. Now let's go ahead and compile the program to see if it works. Wow. And would you look at that, my first SDL program. The reason why I created this project was to rank each sorting algorithm. So here are the 15 sorting algorithms that I will be ranking. Also, there are more than 15 sorting algorithms, but these 15 are considered the main ones. And for my time and yours, we can say the rest are useless. So now that we have our library set up and know the list of algorithms that we will be ranking, it's time to start coding. But before we code, we need a plan. The plan is to code a menu where the user is able to click a button and choose from the selection of the 15 sorting algorithms listed earlier in the video. In addition to this, we also want to display the amount of time it takes for each algorithm to properly sort the given amount of units. Alright, so our first step is to go to GitHub and find some source code that we can build upon. I found the sorting visualizer created by Dipsesh. and copy the code. Now that the code is in my code editor, we can now add features to it. After compiling the code, I noticed that it only had six different types of coding algorithms. Selection sort, insertion sort, bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort, and heap sort. Additionally, after running one of the six algorithms, it doesn't display how long it takes for the algorithm to complete sorting. So the first thing we have to do is to add the rest of the sorting algorithms from our list. Tim sort, shell sort, tree sort, cycle sort, strand sort, cocktail shaker sort, gnome sort, and odd even sort. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us. I went ahead and coded up the Tim sort algorithm. This is the result I got. <laughs> After making some adjustments, Tim sort now works properly. Now let's finish coding the remaining algorithms. Okay, after coding all the algorithms, I ran into a couple problems. 803. Damn. The first being tree sort. No matter what I do, I can't figure out a way to fix it. 
But tree sort is a garbage algorithm anyways. Like right guys, like who even uses tree sort? <laughs> right? The next issue I run into is strand sort. And my god, this has to be the most overly complex sorting algorithm I've seen. So before I go bald or lose my eyesight trying to fix this algorithm, I decided that I'm just not going to include it. If anyone is familiar with these algorithms, let me know down in the comment section below. I mean, they're super easy, but I just want to make sure you guys know them. Because as a highly talented programming genius that I am, I could easily solve these algorithms. Stop the cap! <laughs> Alright, now ignoring these two algorithms, the remaining sorting algorithms are working as they should. In addition to these algorithms, I also created an amazing user interface. Now let's go ahead and add our timer function. After adding in these lines of code, the first being to initialize and start our timer. The next line is to get the amount of time that passes. And the final line displays the amount of time it took for the sorting algorithm to complete. Now let's test to see if it works. Okay, now that we're done coding all the algorithms except for tree sort, strand sort, and tim sort, we can now rank all the algorithms. The way that we're going to rank each algorithm is based off the slowest to fastest time. Before we rank these algorithms, you have to take into account that we are sorting an array of 130 random values. Since the array is random, each algorithm is going to get a random time. To truly find an accurate time for each of the sorting algorithms, we can use big O notation formula for each algorithm. However, for an estimated time of how each of these algorithms sort an array of 130 values, our visualizer does give us an accurate approximation. In addition, I added a slight delay for each sort to make the visualizer look a little bit more smooth. These are the times from slowest to fastest. Coming in at last place is heap sort with a time of 35.9 seconds. Even though this sorting algorithm is the slowest, to me it's the most satisfying to watch. Coming in at 11th place insertion sort with a time of 30.8 seconds. Coming in at 10th place is gnome sort with a time of 27.2 seconds. Coming in at 9th place is bubble sort with a time of 26.1 seconds. Coming in at 8th place is selection sort with a time of 19.8 seconds. Coming in at 7th place is merge sort with a time of 18 seconds. Coming in at 6th place is odd even sort with a time of 16.8 seconds. Coming in at 5th place is shaker sort with a time of 15 seconds. Coming in at 4th place is quick sort with a time of 14.3 seconds. Coming in at 3rd place is shell sort with a time of 8.5 seconds. Coming in at 2nd place is cycle sort with a time of 7.19 seconds. And for the fastest algorithm, coming in at 1st place is comb sort with a time of 5.71505 seconds. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. If you guys got this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Um, it would mean a lot if you guys go ahead and drop me a like. It took me a long time to make this video, so I really appreciate that. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. All right, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time.